pool spots. There we go. Hey, everybody. There you go. There we go. Count's count. The count is check, catching up now. There. We can turn it back some. I think you're good. You've got a laid over. All right. I'm going to try not to talk too much. I'm hoarse. You can talk all you want, Wilbur. No, Wilbur. There's Kevin. And Deb. I'm trying to get my glasses where I can see y'all. We didn't set all this up before, so here we are. Well, it's Easter. We were Leave it to us busy. Today. We so we busy. come in wide open. I've been cooking since we got home from church. Listen, I can't even yell at you. <laughs> I don't have enough voice to yell at her. How about that? Some of them might be happy you can't yell at me. Like I, like I spent a lot of time yelling at you. Okay, Zoe. <sighs> Can y'all hear us good and loud and clear? We became from any family farm. Well, welcome. We might have several new ones as we've had several who have decided they wanted to be a crazy chestnut lately <laughs> and we're thankful for each and every one of you guys you sound awful happy easter what that's what londa said you sound awful happy easter <laughs> thanks londa he, he does sound kind of rough and i think i might make him go to the doctor tomorrow because it has not gotten better since it's Wednesday. just allergies yeah, it's that time. That new Oklahoma pollen I wasn't prepared for. That, and we were out in the pasture yesterday stirring it up real good. That's probably made hey, it worse. Hey, Mr. Richard. They're happy chestnuts, not crazy chestnuts. <laughs> so you want to start out talking about your video? Um. We put out the incubator. Oh, that's right. I couldn't remember what, what it was. I know what I did yesterday, and I knew that was not the video. She did that in secret, so y'all couldn't hear her ask, what did we put out? <laughs> I couldn't remember. Matt, will you turn the air on? <laughs> like they couldn't hear you? Yeah. Yes. Knock it down one, two, just to kick on. Yeah, got, damn, it was, I was starting to sound a little rough then, but now it's pretty much just horse. Yeah. Hello, hello, Catherine. Hey, brown thumb nurse. There's Kayla. I'm seeing them now. I'm catching them. Well, we did get all the eggs incubated. And if you watch the video, we have nine of 11 goose eggs that have something growing in them. And so the goose herself is sitting on nine eggs. So that's going to be interesting to see. So we decided to kind of make it a race. Yep. See who does what. Now hers are going to be about a week behind because we started putting eggs under the goose while right before we left for Oklahoma and she started stockpiling while we were gone. When we got back, we realized how many there was. So we, uh, well, we didn't put them under there. She did. No, that's what I'm saying. When we saw some, we saw she was starting to see it. We would move the ones the other goose was laying and was putting them under her. And then we got back and there was a bunch under her. Mm -hmm. Hey Maggie, and so we uh, happy Easter, cowboy short. Hey Lynn, I'm trying to see. I can't see good. <clears throat> she said we still have our Easter frocks on. We do. We uh, entertained Grammy and Nana. And that Adam. that part where Zoe said we we hadn't been busy. Well, if I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put on my pajamas. And I didn't think they wanted to see all that. So we left on our church clothes. 
Oh, I see they're praying for somebody. Can you scroll it? You don't have the mouse. No, you didn't hook it up. It's in the bag. I didn't get it out. It doesn't matter. Can't hook it up. Hey, Christy. I'll do it later. Donna said, I had sad news. My 14-year-old dog has cancer. So prayer for, for them. I hate that. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's see. Can I skip that one? Yeah, you just got Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'd always make sure to remind everybody hit the like button. I like to see the likes and viewers' numbers kind of close together. Yeah. I think everybody likes that, to try to do that. Everybody that does a live. Of course, there might be a lot of people that don't like it, so. Why would they hit the button? Because they like us. Well, that's why they don't hit the button, because they don't like it. They don't like us. That's why they don't hit the button. They just ain't got nothing else to do. Probably. So, it's Easter. I hope you guys have had a good day today. If you <coughs> haven't had, you know, family to do with, here we are. We're all going to be family tonight. I saw a comment i Thanks, think it was Maggie? i think it was from miss jody that said Catherine figured you us. figured you guys would be busy with it being easter but we still wouldn't skip our live because we've got a lot of viewers that may not have anybody with with That's them right. for easter so we'll do it yeah i mean it don't hurt for us to take a little time and hang out and do what we we're gonna do anyway which is not talk to each other, but talk to other people. <laughs> Cheryl said she figures she's taking the time to watch. She deserve a like. I think so, too. Well, we're Carol. the same way. If we're going to take time to watch and see what you guys say, we're going to at least like it so you know that yeah. you got a little bit of credit for it. Carol said she went to church and then spent the rest of the day alone. So there, there you go. Well, here we are. We are all together and... We're just going to hang out. So we don't have a reason to not be on here because there there may be plenty of our viewers that need somebody to talk to. So we'll do it. We almost, I almost went live yesterday and died Easter eggs with the kids. But oh, then I also said I didn't want to put anybody else through that misery. <laughs> it's kind of crazy around here when we try to do any kind of event. I always try to do stuff like that. I know, but it never works out. What did no. I tell you when you told me that idea? What did I say? That's a terrible idea. I said that will be a disaster. Yeah. I end up putting the stuff away and <laughs> walking away. <laughs> I told Zoe, I said, dying eggs with the kids will be chaos. Doing it on a live will be a catastrophe. Somebody probably would have called DHR on us. No, that's very probably. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. The I think the worst event you have ever had in our house was decorating Christmas cookies. I loved it. I had you my did nieces not. over here. You did not love it I at all. Parents. Your face was red. And you finally just said to heck with it and left. I mean, I didn't leave the whole house and leave the kids here. I just went and did something else. No, you just left the table. Because it was a disaster. But, but they you had just fun. said you loved it. I do. I love it. The kids enjoy it. And it makes my nerves rattled because there's stuff everywhere. And I don't, I'm not crazy about that. And, <laughs> and so I'm just like, mm, just let them enjoy it. We'll clean it up and it'll be good. Clack said his chickens lay colored eggs. See, you know, the prettiest eggs. We have eggs, some colors. The prettiest eggs I've ever done, I did last year for Megan to use for some kind of photo shoot. You remember I dyed our home eggs? Yeah. And they were the prettiest colors that I've ever seen done. Like, really and truly. It still would have been a disaster. Kath says she made a hamburger and potato and cheese casserole. Totally unhealthy, but so yummy. I love that. So let me tell you what, what I did. Well, she said no traditional Easter ham there. 
Well, we almost did. Hey, Dusty Goat. Right. So, Friday, we were working, and my mama called. She said, what are we doing for Easter? I said, I don't know. I hadn't even thought about it. I said, maybe I need to call Mackenzie and tell her to get us a ham out. I called Mackenzie. She got us a ham out. There's just one problem. That was Friday. I didn't know hams need to brine, especially pre uh, raw ham. We're not talking <coughs> spiral slice from the store. No, we grew this ham. We grew this ham. I did not know that <coughs> you're going to be coughing the whole time. I'm going to try not to. I did not know that we uh, had to brine it and all that <laughs> stuff. So I've got it out and it's thawed. We ain't got time to brine it. So I pulled out a brisket yesterday. Well, guess who fell asleep before we got the brisket on the smoker? Both of us raise our hands. <laughs> so now we have a thawed ham and a thawed brisket. <laughs> so we went to the store and bought hot dogs and hamburgers and made hot dogs and hamburgers today. What else did we do? We didn't just do hot dogs and you hamburgers. You made them Flintstone steaks. Why you call them Flintstone steaks? Because they was as big as the computer <laughs> screen. <laughs> there so, were T bones this big, and a sirloin even bigger. And I did six or eight of those T bones and that big sirloin, and we did probably eight or ten pork chops. And you have. Two slabs of ribs in there waiting for me to put on the smoke. Right, because they were supposed to get smoked with the brisket. <sighs> so, we have enough meat to last this for another week. Yep. <laughs> Which is good because we have three baseball games this week plus a couple of practices thrown in there. So, we're going to be balling all evening, all week. So, all of our leftovers this week. It's going to feed us for the rest of the week, and we'll take make those brisket sandwiches and, you know, ham sandwiches and ham, maybe some kind of bean soup. Oh, we got steak for a couple of days. We do. We could dice it up, put some gravy on it, put it on rice, something like that. There's some ways we can make that work, too. So, yeah, here we are. We've got all this stuff. We had big plans for Easter dinner, but we made some hamburgers and hot dogs. I did make green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, deviled eggs, and we have some Oreo dirt cake, dirt yeah. pie in the fridge. I can't see. Matt, will you see if I have glasses? In there? She said, I have a short idea for you okay what does a southerner mean when they say bless your heart it's such a multifunctional oh, statement oh that's a good idea it is it's kind of like aloha uh -huh. bless your heart means all kind of stuff depending oh. on the context aloha aloha yeah you know aloha means like hello and goodbye and all that stuff aloha i don't even know what that is zoe aloha Whatever. Aloha? Yeah, Zoe. Aloha. Aloha. Yeah. I thought you were saying aloha. Bless your heart. <laughs> I'm like confused for a second. Bless your heart. Those are dirty. I was cleaning mine when we came on the live. Don't look at me. Nick, could you please put Braxton Wilkes on the prayer list? It's my best friend's son that was in an ATV accident earlier this week, and he's at Children's in Birmingham. Yes. Sure will. Let me put it on here now. Londa said, it's all about the tone. Bless your heart means lots of things. Yeah. Yes. Especially when you say it to Zoe. Bless your heart. <sighs> Well, I can't help it. I don't hear aloha very often. Well, I just said it was kind of like that. It had lots of meanings. <coughs> I 
I have a Zoeism from this week. What did I do now? When you were asking about river names. Zoe and I were having a conversation about the tragedy in Baltimore with the collapse of the bridge. And I told her, I said, Zoe, they're comparing it to... I'm listening to. What? I'm listening to because I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell them. See, they love a good Zoe. Isn't it? <laughs> hey, so Tamara. I heard on the news where they were comparing it to a bridge collapse in Oklahoma. And I said, Zoe, this is the one that we go across on I-40. And she said, which one? And I said, on the Arkansas River. And she said, I thought you said it was in Oklahoma. I did. It's the Arkansas River, but it's in Oklahoma. And she said, why would they call it the Arkansas River if it's in Oklahoma? <laughs> I said, Zoe, the, the, you know the Mississippi River is not just in Mississippi, right? And she said, well, why do they name stuff like that? I hate that they do that. Right. <laughs> and she said, I told her, I said, well, the Mississippi River ends in Mississippi. It actually starts in, like, Minnesota or somewhere. And the Arkansas River goes, I don't know, five, six different states. So I started trying to explain how these rivers, different rivers, I think the Arkansas River starts in like Colorado. And she said, well, that's just stupid. She said, I, I just want to go to the river in Orange Beach. The Orange Beach River. What? Saying. She said, I want to go to the Orange Beach River. At this point, I'm totally confused. Hey, Heidi. I said, Zoe, what are you talking about, the Orange Beach River? She said, the one that ends at Orange Beach. Baby, that's the Gulf. That's not a river. I said, it ends on the shore of Orange Beach. That would be the Gulf. Karen gave you a bless your heart. You said that's the Gulf, and I said that's the word I was, that was looking for. That's what I meant. <laughs> Wanda said the rivers had their names before the states. Well, that makes a little more sense to me. Because it's like, how do you know if it started here? Or how do you know if it started here? But it can't really start here because that means the water would have to flow up. And the water is going to flow down because of gravity. So it would have to start up here. Like it would have to start above Alabama and end in Alabama because you can't, water don't go like this. Water goes like this. So I guess the Tennessee, like somebody said, the Tennessee one starts in Tennessee and ends in Alabama because the water's got to flow down toward the equator. <laughs> Y'all, she understands this in her head. The St. John's River flows south to north. What? I couldn't remember the name of it, but Londa just pointed it out. I knew there was one in Florida that flows south to north. That don't make no sense. Well, baby, north and south isn't like you're holding the map like this, where everything would have to go down because of gravity. It's like this. <laughs> the earth is round. Yeah, it is. So it's going to go like this. Except the St. John's River goes north. <laughs> Kathy, hey, Zoe, Christy you sound Jones. like me. It took my husband like six times to explain things. Oh, it's the Arkansas River. I saw Catherine say that. She said ago. here in Kansas is called the Arkansas. I saw Catherine said that a while ago it's pronounced the Arkansas River. It most certainly is not. Oh, Jody went to the Royal Easter Show for Easter Sunday, which is a big fair, 100,000 people a day. Oh, wow. I like that. That would be kind of busy, but that would be cool. 
The Columbia River goes east to west, and so does the Mackenzie River in Canada. It goes from the mountains down below towards the nearest ocean. Well, if the Arkansas River starts in Colorado, it would have to go west to east for a little ways. But it flows into the Mississippi anyway, and then the Mississippi goes south. Okay. Everything don't like to go north to south. See, you picture everything like you're holding an atlas. So everything's got to go to the bottom of the page. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that makes sense. The Nile plows away from the equal. Kevin, right there. <laughs> False. It's just like the state. No, it's not, Catherine. Somebody's been lying to you. She they just say bless their heart when she Yeah. Says it. Just say bless your heart. The Nile plows north away from the equator. <sighs> Zoe, your theory's falling apart. Well, I mean Well, I'm not going to say what I just The saw. Missouri River starts in Montana and ends in St. Louis. Look at all that. Uh, Weber Falls was the Oklahoma Bridge. Ten years ago, seeing you all last week going through Fayetteville, Arkansas, passing through our tunnels in the rain. Yeah, yeah. that was on the way home. We, we went a, we went a different way on the way home than we usually go on the way there. Well, you know what's funny is when Cassie asked if we had a good trip through the mountains, and I was like, all I remember seeing is flat land. Well, it's because when you leave Cassie's house, it's a totally different direction, although she's only 10 or 15 minutes from where we were sleeping <laughs> and staying. Yeah. It took us back a totally different way, and I actually liked it better. I thought the scenery was prettier. Yeah. <clears throat> the way we usually also, go. Also, Cool said you might need to agree with me if you want dinner. <laughs> hey, I cooked it all. Day? The way we went going, and the way we usually go is almost all I-40. The way we went when we left Cassie's took us over the Boston Mountains, which was much different. Kizzy Jr. said, my ex-mother-in-law told me it was closer for us to go to her house than it was for her to come to ours. I so we would believe that. <laughs> that sounds like something you would tell somebody, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something new. I thought Mississippi went all the way down to the Gulf. It American does. To topography isn't for the best for this Canadian. It does go all the way Apparently to the Apparently didn't best for this Alabamian either. Because <laughs> I'm learning everything too. It does go. I wasn't real good in geography either. Well, it goes to the Mississippi Delta, which... I think my geography close. teacher was probably a football or baseball coach. And so we talked about sports. <laughs> I'm betting you. Oh, uh, it's just always... These are interesting conversations to have with Zoe. I'm sure that was fun to text about. Well, you did the, having it by text was probably a lot better because you couldn't hear me giggling on the other end. I was dead serious. <coughs> One Scott, hello and good day. <laughs> Sue said, Gulfport, Mississippi. Londa said her dad said that all the time he, I tell him it's farther to his house because it's all uphill. <laughs> Eileen is with me. She gets it. Thanks, Stephanie. She likes my hair. Your hair does look good today. Thanks. They don't learn American geography. It's confusing for me. Me too. I'm glad that I don't have to learn English. Yeah, I've heard that it's very difficult to learn. I'm glad I don't have to. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, there's one spelling means many different ways and pronunciations. Well, I'm glad I don't have to. Oh, read you don't have to read it. 
My grade seven math teacher unfortunately had PTSD from the wars and all he told were war stories. <coughs> I never did catch up in math after that. Catherine said, I think I have to take your side every time, Zoe. <laughs> <There's a way. laughs> How is Littlefoot? Why How you, is Littlefoot? Why don't you tell him since y'all are best friends? Littlefoot likes to cuddle. Yeah, and her face is only like this big. It's teeny tiny. She goes, Wah. Wah. that tongue goes like, Wah. Thankfully, I was holding her in front of me. You couldn't see how filthy my shirt was. Oh, nobody cares. We had been working that day when you took that picture. And Littlefoot decided she wanted to cuddle. So, And that was another thing. We we talked about the video, but you can... One of your shorts was the goat egg. Yeah, one. that shows you just how tiny she is. She... She, I could, every once in a while, we walked up and was talking about the geese and looked down and there she was sitting inside of one of the feeders. And I said, look at that. There's a goat in there. She's just so tiny. She balls up into this little bitty sheet no bigger than a tennis ball when she balls up. And she'll be screaming her head off. And I got Rhett to hand her to me and she didn't say another word. Uh-uh. She just cuddles in and she's happy as She was be. done. She didn't say anything else. American and Australian spelling is different, too. I can hey, imagine Ed. it probably is. Ed, I hope you're feeling better. Ed said he's been cooking fish. I want some catfish. Nick's not a fan of catfish. I don't mind if you eat it. I just don't want to. Christy said her five-pound chihuahua is bigger than her. I, yeah, she's definitely only a couple pounds, if that. She is so little, but she is extremely Catherine healthy. said her baby goats are twice her size. But that was... It's kind of like that that hey, Martha. baby pig we had that time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Caddy. Caddy. I don't Rhett named her Caddy. You know, she was the tiniest pig we had ever seen. Yeah. And, but she was not healthy. No, she was not. She, she lived five she days. She struggled. And we knew she was she was struggling. She was she never lived with the pigs. No, we let she lived with us and she, we baby. She lived her. with us and we were we were babying her, trying to bring her along, but it was simply failure to thrive. Yeah, this goat is not that issue. She's no, just tiny. She's just tiny because her mama and she, daddy's tiny. She is as healthy as she can be. Oh, she just bounces. We get a kick out of. We'll just giggle. We'll see her. She's just bouncing all across the pasture in there, and she walks <laughs> across that beam that's on the ground where we're building, and she'll get on there like a balance beam and just trot across it. It's so cute to watch. So, I saw Catherine said something about it, but it scrolled by me. You'll have to read it off of there. Um, baby goats are twice for... No. I almost brought Littlefoot here till y'all got home, but she's so spunky. Catherine was concerned, you know. She's like, she's so well, small. with her size, I would have been concerned. Yeah. Until you see that... Hey, Stanley family. She was very healthy. Aussie Cool said, what is catfish? You explain, because I just know it's a fish I like. I don't, uh, I don't know. Yes, it, well, it has. Somebody said freshwater some bottom type. feeder fish, and they can get huge, and they're very tasty. That is a very good way to describe it. And catfish is a fish in southern United States mostly, and it doesn't look like a cat. It has well, whiskers. Yeah, I don't know what you actually call that we call it call them whiskers but it's not whiskers because it's not hair but it's for helping detect food it's feeding but a little tentacles kind of thing read what you sow says channel cat well that's a a type and sue said slimy <laughs> they are they can be slimy there is a type that's channel cat but you have several different types of catfish I like catfish if it's deep fried crispy. See, Ginger, you're talking my language now because Zoe loves catfish. Uh-huh. Crappie is my favorite. I don't like, I only like them as nuggets. I don't like anything I have to take off of a bone. I don't like having to pull all the bones out of stuff. No, but you do it. like it if it's a, in a bigger fillet, yeah, which yeah. you can find pretty <clears throat> regularly. 
They don't have scales, they have skin. Is that the one that can cut you? What? They'll spin you. Oh, they'll feed you, yeah. You have to hold them right, right? Yeah, right, you right. hold them behind the fins and hold the top between your fingers. Kathy said, you are never going to get me to fish named Crappy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best fish to eat. I've never well, had one. You know, Crappy, Crappy has a lot of different names. We call them Crappy. Some people call them Crappy. I don't know what all names they've got, but we, we call them Crappy. The whisker sting. That's what that's what Nick said. I've never had that sting me. The the whiskers on the front, I've never had them sting me. The I meant the the fin scale. Yeah, the they'll the, the fins. They'll feed you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Goodness. They call them white perch. White perch. I knew there were other names for them, but Hey Debbie. She likes codfish. See, I like group. What is that only like? You you do like grouper. You like cod too when you've had it. <coughs> you've had white other, cod. <coughs> huh? What's that other white fish I get sometimes? She usually got some kind of sauce or something on it and it's grilled or blackened. I don't know. Hmm. All white flaky meat. Best part is the fried fin and tail. All right. Which one was she referring to? Um, she said Daniel called like them crappy. Crappy, yeah. A lot of people do. They do, uh huh. Tilapia. Yep, I like tilapia. I don't care for tilapia. Just because. Tilapia. Yeah. Well, I'll leave that alone. You have to say it now. Everybody knows. Hey, Brian. Is that Nico? Well, no. I just read an article about tilapia come, being shipped here from Vietnam and uh, how they were raised, and I didn't care for that. Yeah. So I, I tried to avoid that name. Okay. Fried you, flounder. You is loved good. flounder. Mm -hmm. yeah. You loved it. You had some kind of flounder dish that had a sauce, too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. I don't know why we got on that. We always get on food. We typically do. Yeah, we do. Um, what reels do we have this week? We were talking about <clears throat> the video, and mostly it was mostly about getting our eggs ready. And I'm getting really excited. I got to start getting some brooders set up because we have some meat birds coming soon. I don't even know when that is. Oh. Uh... Should be this week. Mm. <coughs> I really wish I could quit coughing. It's always food dirty around here, Londa. <laughs> um, I can't work your phone. <coughs> Goodness. I have the same phone you do, baby. Yours is set up in a different way than mine. Everybody said you feel, you sound rough. He is. I sound rough. I feel yeah. fine. It's. Just drainage and hey, allergies. Gaming. I can't stop coughing. It's ridiculous. He does need to go take him some honey. He might warm you up something with some honey. Well, I don't think it's our allergens that got me. Well, that's true. That's true. Would it make a difference then? But if you introduce but your allergens, it, it would might probably help. Their allergens. It probably would help. I don't cough as much when I don't talk, so maybe I can just sit here and let you talk. But the honey will coat your throat. It might help with your coughing. Mullion. I'm about to look at the other one. Mullion tincture. Susan said, take a teaspoon of Cog Hill honey. I've got the same honey, Susan. Yeah, we've got... <laughs> we've got with we got being, these too. With us being five miles from them, we kind of got all the same kind of honey right here. <coughs> it's the Wokahoma pollen cooties. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Vix has a tablet like a bath bomb. That you put in the bottom of the shower, and I like it too. Yeah, we, we might need to run and get some of them. 
I haven't had it in a long time, but they did work very well, MC. Sure you can get some vapo rub, put it on your feet, put some socks on, wrap you in a heating pad, heating blanket. That sounds like a mighty fine way to sleep. It sounds like a good nap. Turn that air conditioner down, let's do it. <laughs> I'm all in. Who said that? Well, she said, uh, Ginger said some of that. I added the heat blanket. Oh, go for it. Turn air conditioners down. Shower steamers. Go. I'm going to go to the Dollar Gentrals and see if they got some. Those, we've used them before and they were really good. Those I love them. good to keep with Rhett when he gets. I think the last one I used was Let's with Rhett. Rhett. Yeah. I was standing in a steaming hot shower holding him when he was little. Yeah. And I think we threw one of those in the bottom of the shower. And to help, yeah. It sure did. Yeah, they work really well. Let's go get some more. Okay. We'll do that. I want to know what all these hot drinks people are recommending. Hot coffee would probably help. That's right. Hey, Steve. Welcome. I bet it would. Is that what they're called? Yeah, shower steamers. They're Vicks. It was shy or something. I don't yeah. know. He would put a hot onion poultice on his chest. What's a poultice? Like a paste? Would that be a paste? Yeah, I guess. Kind of a salve. Kind of, what would you yeah. mix with it? I don't know. Whiskey and honey. Speak in my language. <laughs> Make your own. They're all Vicks and cornstarch mix, mixed together. Okay. The, it just well, I don't it think good. I have any Vicks. Uh, we might. I don't think I have any. Hmm. We'll just have to look and see. <clears> Hot <throat> toddy with honey and a shot of whiskey. You used to, when I would get stopped up, I would just put a little Vicks right here. Open me right up. But I like putting Vicks on my feet when I've been sick. Putting some warm socks on. Bath bombs, etc., but I'm not sure about the menthol bath bombs in Canada. Hot toddy, warm whiskey, honey, and lemon. Have one every night at the expo because my allergies were a mess. <coughs> well, have... mine didn't hit until Monday. I was fine until then. You were fine at their house. It was once we got no, in the well, car. no, I didn't say anything. I was feeling bad mm -hmm. driving over there that morning. Uh oh, I wasn't say. I just didn't say anything. You're I was, not like me, and I'm like, I don't feel good. Zoe will tell me immediately. I was just trying to think, ah, maybe I'm just not feeling 100%. So we got over there, did the video, did all the visiting and all that good stuff, and it was just gradually getting worse and worse and worse. About an hour and a half into Arkansas, I hit the wall. Yeah. That was the end of it. Doing. I don't think it was that long, actually. <laughs> Honestly. Mix up equal parts of whiskey, honey, and lemon. We got all that. Moonshine. I think we got a jalapeno moonshine that one of our good people on here sent us. That might open Re up. Read Lodges. Moonshine, honey, and teaspoon of cayenne cures everything, and, and it doesn't. If, it, if does. it doesn't, you don't care anymore about three or four in. That's right. So I should mix up these whiskey drinks, and after three or four, it's either going to help me or I won't care. That's right. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Hey, That's Barbara. what they're telling me. I hope I the pastor's can... not watching our live, all these people telling me to drink whiskey. <laughs> That's funny. Andy, if you're watching, I'm not drinking whiskey. I'm drinking green tea. <laughs> See, look, green tea, Andy. <laughs> when I had COVID, my doctor gave me a cough syrup that made my face go numb. Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of cough syrup is that? Oh, man. I always told for medicinal purposes. Yeah. That's like those two old ladies on Andy Griffiths. They had that steel for special uh -huh. occasions yeah. and medicinal purposes. Yep. They were running right. steel. As my papa used to say, it will either kill you or cure you. Sometimes you just got to do it to feel better, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you got enough of feeling bad, you just do it. 
Once again, this is Zoe speaking, Pastor. It's not me. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Well, Jesus did make wine, so it should be okay. Well, I. <laughs> it would be in moderation. It is in moderation. So I, I guess if you, if as long as it's in moderation. The recipe from the Waltons. How are the animals? Peaceful. Was, Tell them about your cows. You don't have to explain all of it because we got a video coming. Let's but just, just tell them that y'all heard Brooke on our live yesterday. Well, as soon as the live was over, my phone. Oh, I'm missing a. I missed the comment. Show Hang me on. that picture I sent. Is it a public holiday in America tomorrow or a work day? Tomorrow we go right back to work. Yes. Let me see. Oh. What you looking for? I was looking for the picture I sent you. Of? Tater. Did you send it to me? Yeah. I don't think you did. Well, I did. I don't think you ever sent it. Maybe it never went through. Well, dang it. I didn't get pictures of Tater. Yesterday morning? Uh-uh. Or day before? Dang it. No, I never got pictures. Okay. Well. Hold on. Nope. That's the one I took. I'm told I don't want that. I was talking about the one that I sent you when I was going up the road. Oh, that one will be in here. I didn't see it. It will be. I just looked right there. Well, it's in here. I know it is. Nope. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, no time. I wonder if I deleted up. it when I was making room. Anyway, all that stuff. Brooke was talking about. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, Moody going on a stroll down to the neighbors. Well, I sent Brooke and Catherine a, vi a picture. Yeah. There it is. Right before it, though. That was a video. Right here. Oh. Go ahead. So, I sent Brooke and Catherine a picture. I said, I guess our cows are enjoying themselves trancing around in the briar patch. You probably have to hold it a little bit closer. Well, I'm looking at it over here and you can see it. Okay. Because our sweet Tater decided to go trancing in the briars too. Tater decided to the barbed wire fence to push it down with her face and go through it. Tater is not tiny. Nobody followed suit because they knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> it was just Tater. So the man across the street Messaged and said, Hey, I uh, think your cow's out. And I was like, Oh, no. And he is not a nice man. He is not nice. He is the one that cussed me out. He's not. And Rhett. And Rhett. Yeah, cussed you out with Rhett there. He's not a nice man. And so I was like, Oh, no. I hope she's not in his yard. She never crossed the road. It's a dirt road, but she never crossed it. So Mackenzie and I. We're going down the road looking for her. We never saw her. We got to the end. We turned around, come back, and all of a sudden, I see this little white face, and it's what y'all saw. She's standing in the thicket, just standing there. And I'm like, Tater, what are you doing? And she's just standing there. Just, <laughs> just standing there. <sighs> With some convincing because she's food motivated. We got Tater back in. She's very food motivated. Well, we decided that Tater needed to go in some green pasture. So, 
we set them up a pen. I really don't think that's got anything to do with it because there's nothing wrong with the pasture where she no, is no. and there's hay. I think there's a bull over oh, there somewhere. I think so too because you can hear them talking back and forth. But And you did say she was in heat. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to go to G&G Farm. But there ain't no cows there so she ain't going <laughs> to stay long. But we did decide to put them on. Look what Catherine's in. Yeah, she'll headbutt you for a free meal. She'll do that. In a she will headbutt you. So we uh, we got them moved over. Y'all see that in the next video. We did video that. And I say that we had the quietest day, the calmest feeding today. I've never seen the cows more content than they were today. Y'all just wait till you see this video on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. You'll see where we move the cows to. Mm -hmm. And they will graze for a little while. And they just lay down in the sun. She can play with Nellie because they're both in the same boat. That's <laughs> right. But a little old tater. She's something else. She's headstrong. And we usually have to run to feed them. But she came up to that trough just strolling. Just as happy as y'all. There was no was running like, and kicking and all that I stuff. Think she just, I think she just needed a change of scenery, to be honest. <sighs> Moody called her and said, come on over. I'm at the neighbor's new garden and it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, they both decided to go through a lot of thick stuff to get there. I'm telling you, they both. And I, when he said they had to go through that thicket to get well, to him. I knew exactly the area Brooke was talking well, about. When well, she, she said it, I looked at you. I said, it's that tall fence. Yes. <laughs> I, well, no, I'm talking about the thick stuff he went through. Yeah, I know. You saying Tater's a troublemaker? Yes. yes. She is definitely a troublemaker. She is the instigator of the, the big animals. Kathy said what is worth a headbutt by Tater or goose by goose. Ooh. Tater will about we take you off your feet, but them goose bites hurt. You'd have to ask Care uh Catherine about that. <laughs> is the dog at the farm now? Not yet. I think about another week he'll be big enough that he'll be able to stay out there, though. He did stay in the goat pen he did. all day yesterday. Mm -hmm. While we were out there working, he stayed in the goat pen all day. But when Catherine, we got ready to leave, he scooted right back on that he gate. He sure did. But he has to work a little harder to get under that gate. He's growing He's, pretty quick. He is because he eats a lot. Yeah. Catherine said, "Goose, I've been bru I have a bruise on the bum to prove it." <laughs> You've probably had some bruises have, from Tater. Well, no, she just knocks me unbalanced. She'll about push me out of the way. Hi, Lee. Lee from Ohio. Happy Easter. <sighs> what well, I think y'all will really enjoy the cows now. Yeah. I, I told Nick, I was like, this is pretty. You know, this is a beautiful, standing out there when we got done with the day, I was like, this is pretty. The cows were shining. They just, they just, I don't know. It was just different. <laughs> Ed said he'll just dig him a hole if he gets bigger. <laughs> I know. Well, not where he's going under right now, he won't. Uh -uh. He's not going to dig a hole right there. I like to not get the holes dug with a pole. <laughs> I did see Jody said that, uh, I, I don't know if it was Hoss asking or she said Hoss would eat the eggs. Hoss hasn't bothered anything so far. He just lays there in the pasture and watches everything walk around. Yeah, and we've got the chickens. Their enclosure is closed up. So we have to turn them loose and collect eggs and all. So maybe he'll be deterred. And from we're going to do some minor adjustments hey, to that too. Yes. There's going to yes. be some minor adjustments to that pattern. Yeah. <coughs> we got some more changes coming with all that. Just because we're filling it out and seeing what's best, you know, we've 
tried it one way and we're going to do some adjusting and try it a different way now. But that's coming. Just because I don't want everybody in one area. Mm -hmm. I want it divided off until we get the other paddocks built. Right. But I still want to be able to separate a certain way. And Zoe and I looked at that yesterday and figured it out. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's going to be good. What else you got, Zoe? I'm trying. I'm, I'm doing better since I quit talking so much. So you're doing a fine job. Oh, good. good. Take thank it you. away, there, thank Brooke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Sergeant. Got to get supper cleaned up. See you guys later. I may see you at work, Zoe. Need to come by there. Okay. Well, I won't be there tomorrow. I don't work on Mondays. I farm. She works at the farm on me on Mondays. Um. What we got coming up? Well, you were running the list you want to talk about April the 20th. I saw you running the list on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tuesday be good. Goose bites have got to be bad. They can be. Sometimes they're a little nip, but when you're protecting, when your ganders are protecting the mama goose, they, uh, they can be painful because they are doing what they're supposed to do. So we got April 20th. April 20th is upcoming events that is Petals from the Past, um, Antiques in the Garden. Right. And it's a two day event, but our portion is on Friday, I mean, on Saturday the 20th. And you've got Cog Hill is your, your big main guest. And then you've got Just Dig It, Tracy, and Jean, Sneeds. Farmhouse Sanctuary is Judy. Big Family Small Farm. Caddy Wampus Acres. Us. Hidden Oaks Homestead. Head Family Farm. Flomaton Famous. G and G. Perry Hill Farm. A and W Mini Farm. Generations Homestead. Crazy Lizzie's Goat Farm and Cowbell Farm. So I think it's going to be good. It's growing. I mean, it was, what, six people there the first time? We had, <laughs> yeah. like, 12 last yeah, year. Yeah, there were. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got 15 this year. You so, know. Tanya says she's coming. I really enjoy the spring event. Mm -hmm. Because all the flowers in blue. Right. I mean, it's a really pretty place. It's a. It's acres and acres and acres of just flowers. Right. But I can't wait till the fall event. I know. The fall event is more of a YouTube type event. Mm -hmm. And man, I can't wait. Yeah. The, the this one, one is an antiques in the garden with a meat like tree a, off the side. Which is like a... Um, which is fine. It's great. It's like a trade day. Yeah. People handcrafted items, you know, small businesses and pop-ups and all are set up. And then they got us set up near the fruit, fruit trees and all. But you can't, you, there's no way to go I out don't. there in the spring and not enjoy it mm -hmm. because everything is in bloom. Right. Yeah. And it's just, as far as you can see, it's blooming flowers. Right. And there's. And in the fall, we have classes and all going on throughout oh, the day. Oh, yeah. Um, a few different speakers, and, and including Mr. Powell. and Joan came from the Walkers. Yeah. Sue said catfish is in most states, but some places you want it in the spring. So, I don't know. Miss Sue said she might fly. An A and W mini farm, yes. You read them, didn't you? I did. Okay, I thought you did. Well, I just got her garden festival sweatshirt on right now. She'll be there in September as a vendor, vendor spinning alpaca. That would be cool. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to get with you with some alpaca fibers to figure out what I want to do with them because I'm going to have some. <laughs> Tanya said. Have you been to the catfish house in Millbrook? Tanya, 
If I go there any more, they would put me up a mailbox. No. <laughs> That's one of my favorite places. It is one of Zoe's favorite. It is. I love going there. That sounds so fun. I'm starting off April with doctor's appointments. Tomorrow I'll see my rheumatologist next week and autoimmune doctor and then the dentist. Oh, good. Well, none of those sound fun. I don't think anything that starts with doctor sounds fun, though. Yes, Glenn, it's just okay. allergies. It is delicious. We love the setup. The slaw and the hush puppies. It's even better if you don't take Rhett. Yeah. Rhett's favorite thing is crab claws. He loves crab claws from there. and But we like getting the red pepper relish. So a lot of people are not going to know. Right. We're doing great, Jay. They do, the, they do a setup, and it's a big bowl of slaw, a galvanized bucket of hush puppies, and these white northern beans with a sweet red pepper relish. So instead of getting like a bread or an appetizer, that's what you get before every right. meal. And Rhett eats and so a, many of the hush puppies and a lot of the slaw that it's, it's better if you don't go with Rhett. And it's like a community thing. You don't get individual servings. Uh, you all share. So, so Jody wants to know what hush puppies are. It is like a cornbread batter. That is dropped in oil and deep fried. Made into a ball. Mm -hmm. And deep fried. So take, think about taking cornbread and just getting like an ice cream scoop or something and dipping it out, putting it in oil. There, I'm sure there's no telling what people actually call it. <coughs> Read Nico. He said, we're going and looking forward to not being tied to a booth. He's going antiquing in the garden. Well, you just bring Egypt and and Pharaoh and SJ and stick them under the tent, and you and Natalie can go in too because we'll take care of all them little youngins. That'll give Rhett somebody to play with, Mackenzie something to do, and I'll just love on Pharaoh. <laughs> Kelly said it was the way they kept the dog quiet. Oh, hush, puppy. Makes sense to me. Fried bread. Makes sense to me. A lot of people eat honey with it, yes. I've seen that. It makes a sweet version. I like mine with ranch or cocktail sauce. I know that sounds a little weird. <laughs> Nico, somebody's asking how how Pharaoh is. We've never made hush puppies, have we? We've always just had to buy them. Oh, yes, we have. I think we have. I like putting corn I'm in mine. Pretty sure that we have. They don't have hush puppies. Well, I make sure to put onions in mine. It's a, it's my regular cornbread batter, a little thicker, with onions in it, and then you just drop fry them. But I like corn and onions. That would be good. That would work. You're back on food. Again. I know. Why? Why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't usually like hush puppies, but man, I can eat the whole bucket. I know because they're warm and they're crunchy. And Rhett does his best to eat the whole bucket. He does. He does. So let's shadow. Our sweet shadow. I did see somebody ask about shadow. So we have been every day. So shadow's still kind of jumpy. Now he comes within about three feet of us. If we sit, we've taken time every day to sit on a bucket. <laughs> We sit on a bucket and just let the animals be around us. That's kind of how we're trying to keep him, you know, coming. And he will come up to us about two to three feet, but you can't touch. I see two different people said we're making them hungry. I know. I apologize. I don't know why we always talk about food. Because we're from the South. Anyway, go ahead. Talk and about Shadow. Shadow's not food. No. Somebody <laughs> asked me that today. Do you eat alpacas? I said, no. That would be the most expensive meal ever, and I don't think that would taste I'm very good. I'm still not going to do it. I don't think that would taste good. Well, I had the same answer for people that asked if we were going to eat the mini herbers. I was like, no, I can get a lot cheaper beef than the right. mini herbers. That's right. So, no. <laughs> Bye, Kath. Anyway, so, go ahead. Um, 
we started catching him. It is a little, little bit of an effort, but we do get him caught. Once we do, we hold him and we just pet on him and just talk to him and tell him how good of a boy he is. And you know, things. put the halter on him, yes. which has gotten a lot easier. Yeah. And we just tell him, thank you so much for loving on, letting us love on you. You know, just all that sweet talk and, we just all take turns petting because I want him not to just love me, but I want, him, or not even that, just to be accepted. He is so soft. He, oh my gosh. He's like a big pillar. He is. And so we just. I'm going to let you read it so I don't start she calling. She said they do. I'll pack a math in their heads. They figure out the length of your arm and then add three inches so you can't touch them. That's right. That's, That's about exactly as close as he it. Gets. Because you, you can reach out. And then the minute you start to lean, that's when he's gone. He's like, nope, not doing that. He's fast, he's like, too. He is. Things can get him. He is fast. It's like a little toddler running away when you're trying to catch him. <laughs> and so I think everything's going to work out. We are, um, we are doing a joint photo session. So he's going to get to be in some on unposed non-posed pictures we're going to do cinco and shadow and some baby the baby the baby goat maybe a couple of the other jack ones. and jack we're going to give jack a bath and get him all we're not giving jack a bath we're going to give we're going to brush jack you can brush him but he's going to go roll as soon as you get through so we're going to get everybody hemmed up and <laughs> at least into one area and then that way, because we know those are the most approachable animals, and let them have some pictures done. Let some kids experience some animals that they don't typically get to experience. You know, a lot of kids don't get to experience that kind of stuff, and so we're gonna we're gonna open our farm up for a few hours and a few weeks and a very limited six families. Basis. Very limited. Six families are coming for just a few hours to have some pictures done and it's not posed it's very natural so that the animals will be in their element they can move about as they want and i'm hoping that, i would love it if the peacocks would make their appearance that would be cool to have some pictures with some peacocks in them but you never know what they're going you to. don't one minute he's hollering from down in the woods and the next minute he's up at the top you just don't know what jason's gonna do Brooke kind of hangs out wherever we are. Brooke was supervising me working yesterday. I know. Every time I turned around, there she was. He would do better with a Zephyr halter that's specifically fitted to him. They get panicky in a halter that doesn't fit their face properly. <coughs> It'll make a world. Okay, I'm going to look into... Oh, okay, I'm going to look into that because I, I don't really like that halter we've been using. It was a temporary solution just to get him home. Yeah, so I want to. I'll look into that because I would really like for him to have a good halter that it's not going to just slip out of. So, yeah. Time to wrap up. It is. You can talk as long as you want, but I got to quit. Well, oh, Glenna said, Who is Shadow? Shadow is our alpaca. And I have been telling everybody that Shadow was eight or nine months. Shadow was born in November. Shadow is about to be five months old. Yeah. So we just brought him home, Glenna. Um, Shadow came from Walker Farm Fam. We brought him home with us this past weekend. You need to get some thieves oil and diffuse it and rub it on your chest. We're going to go find something. Yep. Because <coughs> this ain't resting because it can't stop. Now I'll so. get a lot of sleep. All right, guys. Well, video Tuesday, and we'll see y'all on Wednesday. Video on Tuesday. Yes. Five o'clock. Five o'clock on Tuesday. Five o'clock on Tuesday. Live on Wednesday at seven. Yes. Seven. Got it. Got it. All right. Bye, y'all. Moonshine. <laughs> <laughs>